My Republican colleagues know this. They know Joe Biden is a good man and that Donald Trump is a criminal. So they want to put something on the other side of the scale because they know that Trump's guilty as hell. And it's clear to me why Republicans are going after Joe Biden and trying to drag his name through the mud. They want to, they want to help normalize Donald Trump's corruption and criminality. They want to convince people that everyone does it, so it doesn't matter. Well, guess what? Everyone doesn't do it, and it does matter. There's no comparison, none whatsoever, between the decency, civility, and public service of Joe Biden and the criminality, corruption, and abuse of power of Donald Trump. Frankly, uh, it's just disgusting. I mean, we literally had Marjorie Taylor Greene hold up explicit photos of Hunter Biden at a committee hearing. And it's unclear to me whether Republicans are so full of it that they actually believe this stuff or it's all for show. But either way, I find it to be so awful and just really offensive and quite frankly rotten. So the, the purpose of this amendment is to clarify that there is no comparison between the honesty and integrity of President Joe Biden and the dishonesty and lawlessness of Donald Trump. President Biden is a decent man, an honorable man. He follows the law and cares about cares about upholding his oath of office. President Biden has dedicated his entire career to public service, a great personal cost to himself and to his family. President Biden has rebuilt our standing on the world stage. He has overseen the strongest job growth in American history. He has passed one of the most ambitious legislative agendas I have seen during my, my entire time in Congress. Donald Trump tried to blackmail a foreign head of state to dig up political dirt on Joe Biden. Donald Trump tried to overturn an election because he lost to Joe Biden, sending a violent mob here to the Capitol on January 6 to try to stop the certification of the election. Donald Trump's kids stole money from a cancer charity. Donald Trump's son-in-law took $2 billion from the Saudi government in a deal so shady that it would make even Richard Nixon blush. Donald Trump has been indicted more times than he's been elected. Republicans launched this absurd inquiry almost a year ago. And here's what we've learned. We've learned that this investigation has received extraordinary cooperation from the Biden administration <coughs> and has yielded mountains of proof that all confirms President Biden follows and respects the law. We've learned that President Biden is a good dad, that he loves his son unconditionally. We've learned that his son, Hunter, lost his mom and sister in a terrible car accident. He lost his brother to cancer. This is someone with a, with a lot of trauma in his life and who sadly turned to drugs. And we've seen that Republicans have sought to weaponize that trauma and use it to attack President Biden and his family. Frankly, uh, it's just disgusting. I mean, we literally had Marjorie Taylor Greene hold up explicit photos of Hunter Biden at a committee hearing. And after 10 months of digging and tens of thousands of pages of documents, all Republicans have proven is that President Biden did nothing wrong. But they don't care that they've found no evidence because for them, this is all just about weaponizing and abusing the impeachment process in order to hurt President Biden. Quote, they did it to me. That's what Trump said in an interview a few months ago. I further quote, and had they not done it to me, I think, and nobody officially said this, but I think had they not done it to me, perhaps you wouldn't have it being done to them, end quote. Now let that sink in. The whole impeachment stunt is happening because the former president demanded that MAGA extremists in Congress impeach Joe Biden. They don't care about the evidence. They don't care about the truth. They don't care about the damage this will do to our country or to this institution quote, either impeach the bum or fade into oblivion. That's what the former president says on social media. Either impeach the bum or fade into oblivion. So that's why we're here today. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I urge adoption of my amendment, and I yield back. Gentleman yields back. Is there further discussion or debate on the amendment? Hearing none, the questions on the amendment, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed say no. 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 The opinion of the chair, the noes have it. I ask for roll call. Roll call has been requested. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Burgess. Burgess votes no. Mr. Burgess, no. Mr. Reschenthaler. No. Mr. Reschenthaler, no. Mrs. Fishbach. No. Mrs. Fishbach, no. Mr. Massey. No. Mr. Massey, no. Mr. Norman. No. Mr. Norman, no. Mr. Roy. No. 
Mr. Roy, no. Mrs. Houchin. No. Mrs. Houchin, no. Mr. Langworthy. No. Mr. Langworthy, no. Mr. McGovern. Aye. Mr. McGovern, aye. Ms. Scanlon. Aye. Ms. Scanlon, aye. Mr. Nagus. Aye. Mr. Nagus, aye. Ms. Ledger Fernandez. Aye. Ms. Ledger Fernandez, aye. Mr. Chairman. No. Mr. Chairman, no. Clerk will report the total. Four yeas, nine nays. The noes have it. The amendment's not agreed to.